morning kids welcome to the angeles forest it is a beautiful day for a drive out here and this is john and thank you for joining me sir after <laughs> what a year and change of attempts yeah rain we had rain delays and rescheduling but here we are and this is my first ever go in a mercedes 500 really? e it is uh, believe it or not it's my first time ever driving one of these uh, 93, did you say? 92? 93. 93. Uh, the 500E, give us uh, give us a bit of the history on this car because most uh, car fans will recognize it as the Mercedes that Porsche helped develop yes. and build. They actually built it. Yeah. And they moved it between the two factories, Mercedes and Porsche, depending on what needed to be done. Uh-huh. But it was assembled on the 959 uh, assembly line. Each one took about 18 days to put together. They're all hand-built. Very and neat cars. Some people would say it's the motor actually from the 500 SL. So it's the four cam, uh, uh, the dual overhead no. cam. It's not no, four it's cam. Single. It's single overhead cam. Yeah, just overhead cam. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was four. Yeah. No, dual it's overhead the older cam. Ones. Single well, overhead cam. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, but as but compared to the the engine in my SL, which is the second generation yes. one, which is not uh, not the overhead cam engine. Yeah. So this is the more loved engine, as it were. It's the M119. Yes, and uh, Porsche basically uh, had no money in the early 90s and was looking at outsourcing uh, projects. So helping AMG or helping Mercedes build this car. Uh, was one of their projects, so uh, it's yep. widely regarded in enthusiast circles as being a, yeah. a real classic. Car people not. Car people, people know it. No one know. else does. Let's have a go. All right. Listen to that. Oh, that's got a grumble to it. Well, the first thing you notice, the boxy styling, which never seems to get old. This car has 160,000 miles on it and looks basically brand new. So, uh, well done. How long have you had this for? 13 years. Oh, wow, really? that long, wow. I'm the third owner and the second owner lives a mile from my house. Oh, really? So you kind of, you literally grew up kind of around it, or it grew up around you, I should say. Yeah. So was Thank this, you. Was it, what was it? <laughs> What was this engine 92? 300 horsepower and change? 325. Okay. Uh, the 92s had a little bit more, about seven. Why did uh, they get choked up in 93? What happened? Uh, emissions. Uh, uh, they had, uh, 92s had a different chip in it where they had wide open throttle. Uh, so actually I did put a 92 chip in it. And then I put uh, an Eisenman exhaust on it, it was already on it. And if you look at it, it's a classic one boxy styling uh -huh. instead of round one. Oh, the, t the, the square tips? Yeah. yeah. Well, no, the whole box. Um, so it's probably from about 93, 94. And Vintage then, eyes and min exhaust. I took out the uh, resonator and put in a time valve uh, tie -in, t uh, stainless steel white pipe. Cool. So yeah. it's got, it has a nice grumble to it, but it's not, you know, droney or anything, exactly. which, is, which is really nice. Feels, yeah, it feels healthy, strong. This is, is this just kind of your, your weekend cruiser? Is your everyday car? What, what do you it's use it for? It's been through it all in 13 years. Daily driver for some. Other times it was just my weekend car. So what is, it, uh, what is it best at? Highway cruising? The old 75 miles an hour yeah, I actually chill? had it up at Thunder Hill twice. Did you really? Yeah. How Most does it amazing do it Thunder moment Hill? I have. Well, you, can, you can disconnect uh, the ASR uh -huh. and the ABS at the same time. Okay. Uh, by pulling a plug under the hood. So I did that and uh, coming out of, onto the front straight and I was able to drift it out. Uh, just I bet, but it with, is the big. Long, with the long wheelbase. <laughs> what does this thing weigh? Uh, about, they say 3,700, but I think it's a little bit more than that. With you and I, it definitely. Uh, yeah. I like, I would, I this would, has better brake pedal feel than my SL. My SL has this weird kind of booster that yeah. gives you nothing, 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 nothing now at the bottom. Yeah. This has a much more uh, like a like a newer car has where it grabs up top. It's a tighter feeling brake pedal. Yeah, I like that. I'll, I'll admit that when 
when I was looking at SLs, I did look at a couple of these. I, yeah. I was genuinely curious. I, part of me kind of wishes I got one because this thing feels real cool. It's just so it's so spacious and airy in here, and I think the light tan of the interior like really adds to that. Yeah, a lot of people don't like that. No, they don't like, the tan? no, they don't like. They don't, everybody wants black. Oh, they think there's there's maybe a value to be had in the tan. Yeah, I like it. And right now, I mean, I just I've got the automatic selector in three, and it's uh, it's doing a pretty good job just using the torque of third. Yeah. If you, very if comfy. You, Show you second. If you can, yeah. yeah. Let's wind it out I, a bit. Yeah. It sounds good. These cars are really. You have to really have a, someone who knows about cars, though, right? Because you're basically invisible in this car. Yeah, yeah around, yesterday right? at Target, he was putting his uh, cart away, and he said, ah, nice, W124. I used to work on those. Oh, Is really? 500 e He's like, yep. <laughs> so you never know where you're going to find know. car people know them, but you never know They're where around. you're going to find them. Yeah. I just ran into an old friend at uh, Chubb Car Race named Hartmut File, who runs Rentec. And uh, they are, one of their popular things that they're doing at Rentec right now is they're doing uh, six liter stroker kits yep. for these for these 500Es. I guess, yep. I guess at least some of them are cheap enough that they are worth uh, going for six liters. Let's see. Yeah, it really gets in and then out of first quickly. Yeah. Why does it want to jump out of first like that? Maybe I just need more, more throttle. Gas. More yeah. throttle. Well, it also has a um, um, anti-slip feature, which uh -huh. is actually quite deadly. Quite because, deadly. Yes, what is that? What does it do? Because if you're pulling out in traffic, uh -huh. and with all the power, you figure, oh, I can make this, and it retards everything, and you're sitting there going, oh, it just shuts what did you I down. Do? <laughs> and that, that's yeah. a traction control feature. Exactly. Oh, so these very early traction control systems They're, are yeah. terrible. As soon as, it, as soon as it detects slip, it just... It just it, shuts it just, you right yeah. down. So, Is there, can you disable that? You can. Oh. Whoa! Oh, he lived. No, he lived. Second one. He lived. Uh, you can disable that. Yes, you can. But not, it's not on a button? You have to pull a fuse or something? Uh, you, there's two... Uh, it's just a plug undo. But, but it's there's actually the, a... Yeah work around on that too uh, to where you can do a uh, uh, an actual disable of just the ASR and keep the ABS in, in that time. would uh, that would probably be the way to go I think yeah because any of those traction control systems where it just shuts you right down yeah you know that's dangerous stuff yeah to, uh, to answer your question earlier I mean it's it's a big car uh, on roads like this it's uh, it, it handles pretty good. It does. Uh, for being what it is. But, uh, you know, cruising down here, it just, well, I've never seen so many cops in my life. But yesterday, <laughs> seriously, it was ridiculous. I literally saw 30 to 40 cops coming down from San Jose. Coming down on the what, the 5? No, 101? I took 101. Yeah, you gotta, get, you gotta get your radar detector going. Hello, yeah. officer. I, it would have just been going on. But, uh, car. I bet it was a. I bet it was a nice drive, though. This seems like a great highway cruiser. It seems like it eats up the miles. Yeah, it handles good too. It does. It, it, it's really doing a nice job around these corners. You don't have any some amazing tire on here, right? You, I thought they were Continentals or something, right? Yeah, DW. Yeah. So in terms of the one thing that, uh, or one of a few things that kind of scared me off of these was I heard stories of very high maintenance costs and, and yep. parts availability and stuff. Would you say, is that true? Parts availability is not a problem. No? It's, it's been declared a classic by the Classic Center. Oh, so now they make parts at, yeah. uh, at Mercedes. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so it's fully supported. Um, but uh, a lot of it you could do yourself. I'm, I like modifying, but I uh -huh. don't like fixing. What else have so, you done with it? Have you modified this car in any other way? The only thing is the chip. Just the chip, okay. Yeah, and I, I had 15 inch uh, uh, custom brakes on it. 15 you, inch brakes? Yeah. Good lord. Did I'm you have to run to, some uh, special wheel? No. That'll fit under the standard wheel? Yeah. Really? Well, this is not the standard wheel. The, 
wheels on this, so that's another thing I did. I, I got the 600 SL wheels, so there are tens in the rear and eights in the front. Oh, okay. So still, a, still a mono block, but but this, no, they're is it not two a mono piece. block. They're two pieces. You know, I, it's, I'm gonna look like an idiot in the video, but I I frankly didn't look that carefully before I drove the I was, car. Sorry. I was giving you a hard time when you pulled up, man. Yeah, like, oh, those are one piece. Mine, mine are one piece. Yeah. Yes. No, mine they're came just. On the car. I need to redo them, but they're just. I love the wheels. So, it does look good. So it's got 285 35s in the back and then 255 40s in the front. But still, you can fit a 15 inch brake under that. Yeah. Wow. All right. Crazy. That must have been uh, some some stopping power. It was. But you said past tense. Yeah, I, I used to have a business selling, making custom brake kits. Oh, well, that was because I was into uh, GT4s. All tracks. Oh yeah. So I had an uh, all track uh, 91 uh, ST 185. I always like those. Yeah. So Very I made cool. uh, started making brake kits for that because nothing was available, and that kind of blossomed into you know making them for this because I had this. And Is there a then, demand for those? No. That's the problem. <laughs> That's why I'm not doing that anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the <laughs> That's why I'm working for the man kits. now. Well, I have to say that my first 500E experience did not disappoint at all. Good. The car was, in a lot of ways, exactly what I expected. A refined yeah. cruiser and something that feels well made. And yeah. The engine is, is lively. The engine is certainly more lively than my S01 SL. Yeah. I actually would say that I think, I think all of the inputs on this car are better than my 01 SL. I think the steering yeah. input, the yeah. throttle response, the brakes are all better than my it's, SL, which is 10 years newer. Yeah, it's interesting because that has a rack and pinion. This is a um, circulating ball. I prefer this, I think. Yeah. I actually I actually <laughs> think I do. I, I think dynamically I prefer this car, although there's a couple things on my newer car that, that I'd sure. like to have, and, and some of the maintenance, and that scares me a bit. But, but, but what a lovely car. Yeah, the... Um, the, the standard saying is there's always five thousand dollars worth of undone maintenance Stop. they need to yeah, do. You yeah. just need to bend, you know yeah. uh budget for that. But uh, the main thing to look for is one that's been driven mm -hmm. uh and receipts. Yeah. Uh because if they sit, they rot. Yeah. And that that goes for a lot them. of cars. Yeah, that goes the, for a lot of cars. Well and the this, you know, they had the original um um Harness was made to be biodegradable. Oh, the biodegradable yeah. wiring harness. Yeah, you don't want to deal with that at all. Yeah, so I, we, that was the first thing I had to take care of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, thank you, John. Yeah, what you a bet. what a treat. Um, it you was bet. a unique experience, and um, awesome. I hope someone comes away from this with a bit of consumer advice if they're out looking for one. But if you just wanted to know what one is like to drive, it's a it's a big old floaty cruiser that's made well and oh come on, has, it, it is handled better than it, that. It is. It handles too. It, it'll get around a car. It's finish. not. An, it's not. An, it's not an M5. I was gonna finish. It's not an M5, but it'll, <laughs> it'll get around a corner, and it's, it is responsive, and it, it feels solid and tight, even with 160k on the clock. And it's a nice, okay. it's a nice car, good-looking classic. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you later.